Hey, Mr. Vaughn, I'm here with this Twin V240 GFX. She's got a nice Continental trailer underneath her. You can see she's got the uh, upgraded Taco Outriggers with the hand crank. That way you don't got to get up on the side of the boat. And once you move up here, she's got the Minn Kota Tarova, and that's a, a, a 36 volt, 112 pound thrust trolling motor. She's got a custom trolling motor bracket. You can see there, 112 pound thrust, 36 volt. It's got the iPilot link, so it's GPS compatible. And it's got the real nice uh, lithium battery there with the charger, so you get a greater run time and less time to charge as well. Looking at the electronics, she's got an autopilot system already installed. And that's not to be confused with the iPilot system on the trolling motor. Um, and then she's got a nice 12 inch Garmin. Let me get in here to these battery switches. I'll turn these battery switches on. She's got a three bank battery charger as well. And there's your autopilot pump and house batteries. Fusion stereo system. And then looks like she's got a nice VHF radio. See, she's got 87 and a half hours. Nice LeBrock billfish helm seats. She's got the fold down 65 inch bench seat. So this seat folds up or down. And then if you want to remove it for a day of fishing, these push pins just come right out. She's got a big live well here and then a little cooler next to it. And I've had several customers plumb this as a live well. It's insulated. Fresh water wash down as soon as you come on the boat. Fills here. Nice dive ladder. And then she's got the Euro transom rod holders for the back. Nice rod holders there. Tackle storage. A couple other things that uh, the previous owner added is that you've got deep drop plugs here so if you do any deep drop fishing all you got to do is just plug your reel right in and he's got one on each side tackle storage and like i said that's the uh, i mean that's the nicest uh trolling motor you can buy i mean it's got the upgraded uh led screen as well so and then on these outriggers you know, this folds up and stays, but this is real easy. That way you can just crank them up and you can crank them up or down. You don't have to get on the side of your boat anymore when you're out there running. She's already loaded up. Big insulated fish boxes. And they're macerated as well. So if you hit the uh, fish box button, you can see she starts sucking the water out and chewing up any debris that's in there. And then these headrests just pop right out. Cushions come right off. And then you've got big insulated fish box. You got one over there as well. And then behind here, you've got a cooler on this console seat, the forward console seat. There's a nice cooler underneath there. Forward LED light, forward spreader light, rear spreader light. She's a cool boat. Oh, I forgot to mention the electric windlass as well. And then I don't know if you can notice too well in the daylight, but these speaker, speakers are actually backlit. You can see a little LED light in there. So at night, your speakers are all lit up. Looks pretty cool.
get this thing back into focus. Sorry, I went up the front ladder, so I didn't get to show you the back side of the boat. But she does have some nice underwater lights. Nice deep dive ladder. 150 horsepower Suzuki engines. Nice big three blade stainless steel prop. Prop shafts aren't bent. She looks good. And remember, Suzuki's have uh, a higher uh, low-end torque profile. They've got a better gear ratio than Yamaha's or uh, Mercury's. And that's why Twin V and a lot of these catamarans use the Suzuki engine. They've just got the torque you need. There's your transducer. She's a nice boat.